Welcome, 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 welcome to my channel, uh, Patrice D. Evans. I'm Pastor Patrice D. Evans, and this channel, we uh, rage war against the demon spirit behind narcissistic abuse in relationships, and I help you find your kingdom spouse. Well, this is a unique video. I felt led by the Lord. I felt like the Lord just wanted me to really speak on the big topic going on. I've sat back long enough, and I think it's time to finally speak about P. Diddy and Cassie and all the other things that we're hearing about. Um, I need to urge anyone following me and anyone who sees me as the thought leader in their lives based on you know, the fact that I am led by the Holy Spirit by, because I'm a pastor and I speak truth and righteousness and I have discernment. If you have been following me and you really do um, respect my opinion, then this video is for you, okay? so. We're gonna talk about what we're doing on this channel about this sub subject. And it's gonna come from my perspective as a pastor, as a teacher, as a mother, and as a coach. I want to make it crystal clear what I believe and what you need to be doing and spread the word because this is what we all should be doing. So based on the knowledge that I know about abuse and relationships, if you're interested in hearing where I'm coming from, stay on, all right? Okay, let's get started. So we've been hearing about P. Diddy, we've been hearing about all the other people that he kind of took down with him that are doing all these things in the dark that came to the light. We're in the last days, and if you haven't seen me and anything about me, go into my other channel, Joy Party TV, with Patrice C. Evans, and I'm Pastor Patrice, my church is Joy Celebration Church, and you'll see me dancing, performing for you, um, for the Lord, okay? And on that channel, you'll see what is the basis to everything I believe spiritually so that you understand why I speak to the way I do. I have a unique stance on relationships, kingdom spouses, and dealing with narcissistic abuse. So first and foremost is that God has given me the gift of, of wisdom and discernment as well as healing, you body, mind, and spirit. And I've known about what he's been doing for many, many years. I'm very surprised that everyone is just starting to see all this. And it was not easy to sit back just like many things that I've been talking about for a very long time. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, narcissism, so many things, okay? Leggings, dance fitness, there's so many things. But this one, now that he is, has had a video out as of yesterday, now I need to talk to y'all. I've spoken to you many times about how to deal with narcissists, how to avoid them. But this is my forte. You need to not watch that video. You need to know that your, your, your vote, your click, your like, or lack thereof, really does make a difference. And if you watch uh, these narcissists, sociopaths, and you play their game, you are helping them. Right now, we're in the last days, and God is judging let God do his work. Get out of the way or you're going to go down with them. So if you're following me and you want to be a part of my ministry or what I'm doing on this channel, you do not watch that video. You do not have any fun. Do not comment. Don't feed this narcissistic behavior. Using social media, using the fame to harm another person who now is trying to start her own life, Cassie. This is what narcissists do. And with what I'm seeing, I don't know if this is just narcissism. This is malignant to sociopathic. We have been, we have loved The Office. We've loved so many different shows where we focus on the narcissist. We think it's funny. We think it's a joke, you know, but this is real life. And Cassie got out of it. And that is a miracle. But for her abuser, because he's falling and because he's done this to so many other people and allegedly young men and, and, and these young men are, are, he's been pedophilia, pedophilia, pedophilia with these young men and things that, that have been done to them when they were children. She was a child. This is more serious than some kind of a comment that you could make because you think it's funny. Do not go on him or any of these other people that are out there that are being judged in this hour. There are a lot of other people being judged in this hour that have done things that are horrific as well to young people. And you will be joining in on whatever they're doing spiritually from the Lord first and foremost. And you'll be a part of what he's doing to harm, continuously harm these victims, including Cassie. So on our channel, this is what you call gray, 
um, gray rocking. Okay. You need to be gray rocking. We all need to be gray rocking P Diddy and everybody else who has abused people. Do not watch this video. Do not entertain the video. That's how you deal with narcissists. Now we have to deal with it on a bigger level. We have big ones in the right now in um, the limelight right now. You must, you must pretend they're not even talking. That's how you deal with them. You cannot go on there. And if you think you're cute because you want to have some attention and go against the grain and start to praise him, which is what he, they'll always be those guys that are going to be like, I'm for him, I'm for him. Well, woe unto you. There is a demon spirit behind him and other people who are harming young people. And for those out there that aren't famous, that have had this happen to them, you are joining in on celebrating the abuser. This is my public announcement. You are not, do not follow me if you support this activity. This is very serious and it's happening to people regularly. And as we speak, children are being um, HT and essayed and they're enslaved. And that's what he did. That's what he did. I saw those videos years ago and I've already seen this and I already stopped watching him years ago. What took us so long as it is? Those who have sat back and watched it up until now are have blood on their hands. And if you support him, please do not stay in my camp. Don't follow me. We are not going to be a part of this nonsense. Everybody thinks it's cute in these last days. Y'all having some fun because this is like the days of Noah. But if you want to have fun and drink of that cup, you will go down with it. This is a spiritual war going on. He's being taken down by the Lord. If you decide to align with that, you are part of all of the young people that are going through it right now, still being enslaved. She got out. So that means you're disrespecting her and she's still healing from the trauma. This is not something you heal overnight with. The kind of stuff I saw in those videos oh, years ago, they've been available for years and we all sat back and no one did anything about it. Now that something may be done about it, I hope that no one that follows me will support this, that will even watch it. We all need to gray rock men like him and people who are doing what they do. Do not follow it. Do not watch it. Do not comment and do not support that. You should be supporting more people like me and what I'm doing instead of supporting that nonsense. I can't even believe that any platform would allow him to even say anything after all we found out that he's done. So I rebuke that demon spirit behind D P. Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs, and any other demon spirit out there that does what he does or anybody who condoned it. And the one that did it to him, I rebuke you too. Every one of you people who did that to him and taught him how to do that. And then he taught his sons and then he's doing it, and they become little demons. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. That's what we do in this channel. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I help so many people get out of the situation. But if you, as a group, sit back and watch famous people do this, you are harming everyone who has been harmed by this. And many of you who are supporting them have trauma bonds. And that's why you're supporting them. Because you don't see anything wrong with it because it happened to you. I rebuke that demon spirit out of your life. We rebuke it now. Join me right now in prayer to rebuke these demon spirits, to not give them platforms. Let the people speaking truth and righteousness have platforms. Speak a comment on my channel, like the things I'm talking about so that we can encourage people who are going through this. We don't believe in this and we do not support you. And I hope I have not seen the video and I don't plan on seeing it because you guys need to follow people like me who know how to deal with these people. Do not support it. Do not support it. Don't watch it. Don't share it. Don't comment. Pretend it never happened. And that's how you can support Cassie. Instead, do like, I believe, um, one of the Mary Mary, she posted something beautiful about Cassie, a beautiful picture of her wedding. Let's instead post beautiful things about Cassie and encourage her new life. That's what I'm trying to teach you to do in this channel. We need to be not feeding the, the, the supply they need attention. So now he's going to find it any way he can 
You've got to snuff out that attention. There's many more out there that are trying to use, use many sources out here to get attention, even if it's bad attention. And you have power in your hands to stop it. You have power to not support these people who have harmed so many people. And I want to say something about my community, the African-American community. Black women have suffered for many years trying to be there for black men because of all that's happened in America. And the latest thing that has come against the black community is this pedophilia that has really ruined their minds and harmed them so much and raped them and made them go into a, a, a way that they live that they didn't choose. And it, of course it affected our, 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 our um, culture. This may be why some African-American men have not been kind to African-American women. This may have been an issue all along. The enemy is going after the community. And the, using it in, the, in my lifetime, I saw people like these rappers coming up. What they did was, at first they were going to bop the man, which was the white man that was in charge in the music business, but instead they joined it. And they ended up getting, becoming pedophile, having pedophilia on them, and then they joined it, and they ended up turning on their own people. And it took a person, a woman, that girl that wasn't all, uh, I don't believe she's um, African American um, in, the, in the way that she looks on the outside, it took a woman that looked different for people to see her as a full human being to do something about it. But how many other people have been harmed from her? What happened with, with, with the women in the past that he's been with? We already knew about someone in particular that we haven't heard anything about because she was more brown skin. It just went under the, under the radar. This is serious. This, for the black community, this is something that has been unfolded in our community, even in the religious parts of our community. We need to be paying attention to this ugly thing that now has reared its ugly head in our community. And this is from the Lord. The Lord has sent me to speak on our community before. The devil is after our community. We're going to be used for the end times to speak on God's behalf. Our ancestors, when we were enslaved, had nothing to lose. And it was the, the white preachers that came in there that weren't slave owners or weren't that prejudiced. They really wanted to do God's will and evangelize and taught the slaves about Jesus. Now we found out he's black after all, Jesus. So much God is revealing a lot. Black community, wake up. Do not support this activity. Check yourself. I'm here as a coach. You are supporting it because you may have had this happen to you. So you're going to, instead of go against it and fight it and cry and go through the pain of healing, you'd rather sit in it and tell yourself it's okay because it's too painful to admit how painful and, and triggering this is. Leave it alone. Ignore his videos. Ignore anything he does. That's how you will heal yourself and you'll support all the other people, especially Cassie, who is healing. Once narcissists and sociopaths and people who are psychopaths, once they lose grip on being in front of you and getting what they want, they'll find any way to slither into different angles, desperately sell stuff, do things. You've got to ignore them. You've got to ignore them so that they can get their help because God loves them too. But if you keep feeding them, giving them the dopamine of giving them the attention they're looking for, they'll never see their problem. The way that you help a narcissist is to not, you have to gray rock them. You have to gray rock them. It's for their best. If you keep feeding them, they're going to think they're right. Someone is clapping and saying you're right. Their psyche is going to keep believing they're right. And you're going to keep harming the victim. This is what I'm talking about on this channel. This is what I'm talking about on this channel. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is real. These are people's real lives. And those of whom are not famous, you guys, I'm talking for your sake. More, there's more of you than you want to admit that have gone through this. It's all in all of our families. So many families ruined because of parents that have gone through it, doing it to their children, or not able to be good parents because they've been through it. This is very serious. And now we can see why the black community has had so much dysfunction. The men who are trying to be straight, trying to be 
fathers wanting that. It was taken from them because they wanted to be rappers, because they wanted to be stars. This is not funny. It's been out long enough. And now it's fell on my lap. It's in my territory. In a relationship between a young, beautiful girl and a, mon a man that decided to let that demon monster behind him ruin her life, she got a new life going on. But if you all support him because he decided to do a video, who cares? He needs a lot of help and he doesn't have the right to say a word in this season. He said enough. He's had enough. God is judging in this hour. You've had enough to say. Y'all all have had enough. It's time for God's saints to speak. It's time for God to speak. Jesus is returning. Y'all sit down and let Jesus speak for a change. I'm tired of y'all having the mic, leading everyone to hell, especially my community. Sit down and be quiet for a second. Jesus says, shut up. Enough. Black community, wake up. Stop following these demons behind people. We do not wrestle with men. We're not mad at him, the man. He's not well. We pray for him. But you cannot keep feeding him or he'll never get better. Leave him to the Lord. Pray for him. Don't feed him anymore. Don't watch those videos. Feed her. She's going to get the help. She's trying to get the help. Feed every famous person that's crying and saying, look what happened to me, who's speaking out. There, this, is, this is running rampant and Jesus has had enough. Jesus has had enough. I've had enough of you taking the mic. Demon spirit, I'm speaking to you. Every demon spirit behind Sean Puffy Combs, P. Diddy, and every other person that has a platform that just won't shut up for just one second. Give me just a minute. Let me speak to the people for a second. Let me tell them God's love. You've ruined so many lives. I'm seeing grown men crying. They wanted to be rappers. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. No more. Enough is enough. This is not fun and games, this whole narcissist thing. I've been speaking about it way before everybody else. This is not a joke. This is snuffing lives out. And they're walking around like, like living dead. Talk to somebody who's really been through this. You have no idea what she's going through. And sometimes the better looking you are, based on my book, the more you suffer because you look like you're okay. Pray for Cassie. She's stepping out. She's trying to have a better life. Give, give the, put your energy on her. I would like us to switch this, and I'd like just for that, we're going to blow up all of our channels on, on her picture. Everybody support her, and everybody like her. And the men who have been abused, those young rappers, young singers who just want to be artists. I'm an artist. I'm a dancer, sing, actress that sings. God gave them these talents, but the gatekeepers rape them, harm them, stop them from being able to do their art. That's the devil. These are demons behind these people. Woe unto you. If you continue to follow these demons, you'll go down with them in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I bind you demon spirit from the African-American community. Sit these demons down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Jesus, 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 sit them down. Shut the mouths of lions and give your saints the mic. It is time to come into the fold. Whether you've been, had that happen to you or whether you're doing it. Time out. My people have been through enough. And this is for all the other people who have been taking advantage of African-American people. Enough is enough. When does it end? If you think it's cute and funny, then go over with them and get what they get. But if you've had enough, you come on my side and we're going to pray together and we're going to fight this demon spirit. No, we don't follow them when they do videos. It's time y'all flip it. Tribulation is coming soon. Tribulation is next when the rapture comes. Do you want to be here for tribulation? 
Worse yet, do you want to go to hell when you die? It ain't cute when you support that. God sees you typing things. God sees everything you're doing and you will be judged. You will be judged on every thought, everything you feel about me or about anybody else. Enough is enough. Somebody's got to tell you the truth. Stop playing this game. White, black, Spanish, Indian, it don't matter. Y'all better be careful. You might want to listen. The time is nigh. Jesus is returning. Today is the day of salvation. Choose who you will serve. Stop playing on these on in the internet. Enough. We've seen enough. It's so grotesque what we've seen. If anybody follows him, shame on you. You deserve what he's getting then. Pray for him. Pray the demons out of him. I bind you, demon spirit, right now if you come against me. I bind you, demon spirit, behind Sean Puffy Kong. I bind you right now in the name of Jesus. I bind you any spirit coming against this word. I bind you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You loose these people. You loose these wonderful young men. They may not be perfect, but they didn't need you to come older than them and take their, their innocence. I know I don't stand behind you. To stand by in him is to stand by in people who are taking the children's innocence and the other groups out there doing the same thing. But everybody's using him as a fall guy. He represents many doing it. But guess what? Your time is up. God says your time is up. Where are my prayer warriors out there? The children need your prayers right now. Enough of these joking comments. Where are the Christians on YouTube? Come on now, pray for this. Stop using it for your algorithm. These are lives we're talking about. We're at battle. It's time for the war, spiritual war. These babies out here need you. It's not funny. You love him more than you love the children. A lot of these men were children. Usher was a child. Orlando was a child. Justin Bieber was a child. His sons were children. Cassie was a child. Any moms out there? Come on now. Any dads out there? Join me in praying these demon spirits down. Enough is enough. Time for you to bring up the right channels. We need to strengthen our faith in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of this nonsense. I bind you right now in the name of Jesus. Enough. We stand for those innocent people. The innocent children that are still in bondage. We stand for them. And no, we will not watch your stuff. We will not watch your stuff. We will not watch your stuff. Type in there that we will not watch your stuff. We will not support your stuff. Delete it. And put instead, when you see it, delete it and put a picture of, of somebody that needs to be lifted up who really is trying to be better. Stop this gossiping nonsense. God is watching you. He sends me just before he's about to do something. That's when I'm sent and I finally speak. I pray for you and I sent you out. If you want to be a part of my church, it's Joy Party TV with Patrice Evans. This is Pastor Patrice Evans talking. And the Lord sent me. So woe unto you if you come against it. Lord, send them out, bless them, and keep them in the name of Jesus. Bless every, every ear, anyone at my earshot. Bless them, Lord. Bind these demon spirits. Take down these altars, Lord. Send them to where they belong in the pits of hell and whence they believe, belong. And save those that want it, Lord. Draw everyone from all the four corners of the earth. And bring them into the fold in the name of Jesus. That's all I need to say. I love you. God bless you.